Hello Euroboxers, welcome back to another Eurobox interview and we have none other than Victoria for, from Bulgaria who will represent the country this 2021 in Rotterdam with Growing Up is Getting Old. Hi, nice to see you. Uh, I'm good, a little bit busy, but good. <laughs> understandably so, understandably so. I have to say that every time I think about the title, I cannot hear, uh, I cannot stop hearing the melody with it. So that's a great uh, wow. way to promote a song. So great. I, when I say your your title, I, the, your song title, I have to go growing up. Okay, that's just, that's the title. <laughs> nice. Thank you so much. What I really like about your song is that with this new track that you're bringing to your vision, you're really solidifying your personal style in music. Yes, um, it. Um, I think it. What was the word? I forgot. Uh, it describes uh, my my style very well. I really like um, real instruments, piano, strings and instruments like that so i really wanted to put all of this in the song and i think it turned out really really beautiful it is it sounds like a soundtrack for me when i'm hearing the part with like the voices and the orchestra it reminds me of like the old disney movies like bambi's kind of soundtrack the sleeping beauty kind of soundtrack so it's very very dreamy very dreamy style that's amazing. I'm a really big fan of Disney, so yeah, um, I'm I'm getting inspired from all of these movies and also from soundtrack movies, um, mm -hmm. from movies. And uh, yeah, this is the kind of music that it's uh, it gets me inspired lately. Nice, because uh, you do have some sort of retro style. It's not definitely like the modern upbeat uh, tracks that we hear on the radio normally. Uh, where does this um, curiosity of this maybe not so uh, upbeat style come from? Um, I've always wanted to make that kind of music. Uh, I didn't have the chance before, but in 2019 when I started writing music and my own songs, I kind of realized that this is my music for real and I really love it. I, I really like this style and I think it's really good because there is a lot of pop music and upbeat songs so I really love ballads and that's my my way of expression. Definitely, I really like the, the lyrics of this song especially because it really portrays a softness that a lot of people maybe don't feel comfortable enough to experience or express face-to-face uh, -face in society so there is a softness inside that uh, a vulnerability that we don't see every day uh yes i always uh want to bring people good messages so they can relate to them and i'm always getting inspired from my stories my experiences and also other people's stories and uh, i think that's really good because people can feel you more closer to them and they can say, oh, I can, I can see me in this song, which is, for me, is the most important thing. If someone says, it's your song is like written for me, that's, that's amazing. Not only written for you, but like whispered for you, because definitely the charisma and the vulnerability uh, of the song, is mostly felt through your voice. So, uh, that's a great acting in, you know, I don't know, it's, it's not acting, but it's a good way of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, of conveying the message. Yeah, emotional expression. Emotional yeah. expression, yes. I think sometimes that is even more important than the whole uh, 
scenery like uh, staging and having it very a visual impact uh yeah it depends it depends on the song you have i also have a, a beat songs which i really love but sometimes in in for example in a big competition like eurovision i think it's really cool if you have that kind of song because mm -hmm. everything is really upbeat they have these big staging um and when you do the opposite i think it's really cool because it's like a um like a breath. breath of yeah yes yeah mm -hmm. do you have already things planned for rotterdam how are you taking this journey um uh yes i can't wait to go to rotterdam it's uh it's amazing that we're actually going i know <laughs> yeah um i'm really excited uh we we're gonna be close in the hotel uh because everything has to be really strict but um i think we're gonna have a lot of fun there so yeah mm -hmm. can't wait to go there Yes. Do you know how like your staging is going to look? Can you tell us anything, or is it still a secret? Uh, it's a secret. I think for everyone, it's a secret for every country. But um, I can tell you that it's gonna be really emotional and minimalistic. So yeah, that's all I can say. Oh, but uh, now that uh, Eurovision 2020 did not happen, and you brought tears getting sober. Can you tell us what you had planned for for that song? Um, it was kind of the same direction. It was really uh, minimalistic. I was gonna be alone on the stage, like I'm gonna be now also, uh, because I think it's really cool when you have a ballad to show people only your inner world and your emotion and to speak to them through the camera. So yeah, it, it was kind of something like that. I like how you express, uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like you express the new eras through your hair, your hair color, your hairstyle. Last year we saw like a faded uh, green color and now it's orange. Is that how uh, you express also what's going on emotionally? Yeah. It kind of expresses it um i'm i was with gray hair last year now i am uh, orange um i really like this kind of change because i needed to make some change in myself and uh, i thought the hair is the most easier <laughs> change i can do although it was hard for me to say goodbye to the gray hair because i really loved it but um yeah uh, it's People always connect changing hair color to some emotional things. Mm -hmm. uh, how has your uh, COVID uh, journey been? Uh, like the lockdowns and everything in Bulgaria for you, has it been hard? Have you been creating music or did, you, did it give you space for creation? Um, at first I was okay with the pandemic, then I was really depressed, <laughs> um, then I just realized that I have to just for, uh, continue working because there is nothing we can do, so I, I wanted to, to be really, to, to feel inspired again. I wasn't inspired uh, till November, kind of, but um, I wrote some songs during the summer and uh, I really want to release them soon. So yeah, I worked a lot. Yeah, you had this, uh, this list of songs that you were teasing that we didn't know if it was going to be, which of them were going to be to Eurovision. So I think it's a really good project in general, like to have all of this going on. Uh, yeah. I uh, released my first EP, which was a really big dream of mine. Um, and I'm really happy that I kind of had the chance to have this COVID situation to finish it because I didn't have time the last year if everything was all right. And uh, I don't know if I would have been able to finish it. So I'm really happy that um, I did it. And I'm, uh, I'm going to start uh, working on my second EP really soon after Eurovision. So yeah, 
I'm I'm all music. I really want to release music all the time. Nice. And who is behind this whole production of uh, uh, Growing Up is Getting Old? Who have you worked with this time? I worked with the Swedish team. They are really amazing people, songwriters and uh, producers. Uh, the producer of the song is Oliver Bjorkvall. Um, he's amazing and he's the producer for, of most of my <laughs> songs. He's really good. And I also wrote Growing Up Is Getting Old with Maya Nalani and Helena Larson. Uh, these girls are really, really smart girls and really um, artistic. So I really love them and I'm thankful that I had the chance to work with them. Yes, that's, I really like when a different countries come together and they create something unique because then everyone can, it's not only a, a Bulgarian thing, it's everyone can get on board and everyone can feel represented. That's really great working with different influences. Yeah, of course, it's really good when you meet different people from different countries and just sit in one room and jam together, it's really magical uh, process. What's the thing that you're looking forward to the most regarding Eurovision? Sorry, can you say what, is the, what is the thing that you're looking forward to the most when going to Eurovision? I'm looking forward to just have fun, to go on the stage, I hope. Um, to not use live on tape because I really want to be on that stage and to perform my my song and also the staging because I really love it. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to touch people's hearts uh, because that's the most important thing for me. And if they like it, to vote for me. And yeah, we'll see. Uh, this week or last week, we saw you the giving awareness to a personal situation that uh, you've been going through. Do you want to uh, tell us what do you feel about it, if you want to? Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, my do you feel father, like? No, yeah, it's okay. My father was uh, diagnosed with uh, really bad uh, disease, which is ALS, and uh, it doesn't have a cure for that it depends on uh, every person's body so we all hope he's gonna be fine in a way so yeah, yeah. it's really hard for my family now so yeah mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna sing for him yes is he music inclined too does uh, he like music is he also into music uh, he, he loves music, yeah. He's not a musician or he can sing, but he feels it, so yeah. I'm sure you're making him really proud. I hope so. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Victoria, thank you for your time. I, I think you are a very busy sing singer at this moment with lots of preparation. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you for having us and we wish you all the best in Rotterdam. Do you have any final message for your fans? Um, uh, I really want to say them that I love them, to wish them to be um, to be healthy and safe, and to listen good music, and to love their families, and to show them love every every day. Thank you, Victoria. Guys watching, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and listen to Growing Up is Getting Old, and vote for Bulgaria. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye.